Hey everyone, welcome back to Keto Asian Flavors. It's Anne. Let's make some chocolate covered almonds today. In this video, learn how to easily remove the almond skins and make the most perfect shaped Easter eggs using only two ingredients. In a saucepan, bring some water to a boil to blanch the almonds. Boil just enough water to cover the almonds you will be using. I'm using two cups of raw and unsalted almonds. I'm blanching more almonds than I need. Choose your desired amount and add it to the boiling water. Cook it for about 5 minutes or until all the almonds float to the top by itself. Turn off the stove and prepare a bowl of cold water. Transfer the almonds to the bowl of cold water and discard the water that was used for boiling. To easily remove the skin, simply use your fingers and thumb to squeeze the almond and the skin should slip right off. Rinse the almonds in a bowl of water, then drain using a sieve. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and roast the almonds for about 15 minutes. Do not skip this step. Roasting the blanched almonds will bring back the crunch. Every few minutes, use a spatula to move it around for even roasting. Keep an eye on it to prevent it from burning. If you have a Wilton chocolate melting pot, switch the setting to melt to melt the chocolate. Otherwise, use the double boiler method. I will be using Lily's dark chocolate style baking chips. These chocolate chips are sugar-free and sweetened with stevia. Amount needed will depend on the mold. Melt more than needed as per mold and set aside for later use. Add the chocolate chips to the melting pot and wait a few minutes for the chocolate to melt. Stir the pot a few times to evenly distribute the heat. Once the chocolate has completely melted, switch the setting to warm. This will keep the chocolate warm while you fill the chocolate mold. Start by filling each cavity halfway. Insert an almond and add more chocolate. Bang the mold on the counter a few times to get rid of the air bubbles. This mini egg mold was purchased from Amazon. It's the smallest that I could find to make chocolate almond Easter eggs. If you can find a smaller size, please let me know in the comments below. When filling the cavities, work in sections to avoid the chocolate from setting before the almonds are added. Continue until all the cavities are filled. Bang the chocolate mold a few times on the counter again to get rid of the air bubbles. Place the mold in the freezer for about 30 minutes to set and harden. This will also help with removing it from the mold. Remove the chocolate mold from the freezer and flip the mold to have the bottom facing up. On a tray, knock the mold with a kitchen tool. I use a stainless steel measuring cup. The chocolate pieces should be easily removed from the mold. Use the extra chocolate to attach the two halves together and let it set. Look how perfect these are. It's super cute. If you would like, you can also use foil wrappers to wrap the chocolate eggs. I purchased these gold foil wrappers from Amazon, but there are other colors available. Wrapping the eggs with foil wrappers will definitely make them more festive for Easter and will be better for storage. These mini chocolate eggs are honestly so easy to make and perfect for Easter. You can also chop some extra almonds and mix it in the chocolate for more crunch and texture. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoy my recipes and videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and share. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, I'll include the details down below. See you again next time.